Hey guys, it's Tom here from Activate Health Clinics and I'm with Jess. I'm Jess from 45 And we're going to run you through how to do a body weight or an air squat to start with. Uh, and then we're going to sort of make things more difficult and run you through a goblet squat and then a back squat and a front squat over the next couple of weeks. So Jess, want to show us the body weight squat? Great, so squat's my favourite, so I've had plenty of practice. Uh, so I'm just going to drop it down, feet hip width apart, what's natural to me, and just sit as low as I can. Cool, and then she comes back up out of there. I'll get you to face that way, Jess, and we, or either way, and we're gonna have a look at what she's doing. So things we're gonna think about, we wanna keep our back relatively neutral, uh, and we wanna try and kind of keep our torso upright a little bit too. So if Jess comes down into that squat shape again for me, you'll see that when she does that, she puts her hands out in front because she needs a counterweight or a counterbalance. Her back stays really nice and flat, her eyes stay in front, and her torso stays relatively vertical. Cool, jump up out of there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna um, get Jess on the floor and we're gonna run you through how do I work out where my feet go and where the heck do I put my knee when I squat so that you can be a bit more comfortable, all right? Okay, so Jess, we've got Jess lying here on her back and we're gonna show you how to set up to find where your hip's gonna be comfortable when you squat. So if Jess pops one leg down and then brings the other one up towards her chest and gives it a bit of a hug in towards her chest, what you're gonna see here is the further, if she keeps pulling that right knee up, what do you feel through the front of your hip when you do that, Jess? Very tight hip flexor on the front. Okay, so she's getting like some tightness through the front. If she pulls a little harder, you'll see her left, her right leg, sorry, starts to come up. So give it a yank, Jess. Cool, you see her right knee bends a bit more and comes up. Let that yeah, back off. my pelvis is tucking. I'm yeah, so her hips are moving around. So the front of her femur, the long bone of her thigh, runs out of room and it starts to move her left leg, okay? When that happens and you're in standing, that's gonna result in butt wink or your back rounding because your hips running out of room. So we really need to avoid going any further than that. That's when she just pulls in a straight line, straight up. If we take your leg off to the side a little, yeah, and then we pull further, what do you get there? A lot more room to move. Okay, so Jess's knee can get higher before this hip starts to move. Then if we add one more thing, if we bring your foot in and your knee out, do you get more or less room when we do oh, that? Oh yeah, lots more. Okay, cool. So what I need you to do guys to work out how you're, best, or how you're gonna squat best is fiddle with that knee. Do I get more room in near the middle? Do I get more room in line with my chest or with my nipple? Do I get more room when my knee's outside my chest? And then what about where my foot goes? Is it better directly under my knee? Is it better inside my knee? Is it better outside my knee? Cool. Those combinations are gonna help you find what works for you. All right, now the next thing we're gonna look at, Jess is gonna wobble her feet. So she's gonna shake her legs out, she's gonna give them a wiggle, and then just let her feet sit wherever they're comfortable. Cool. Well, you, well, you might not be able to see there, but they're at about 11 and one, right, on a clock face. So if 12 is the middle, they're not sitting straight up, right? They're kind of sitting off to the side. That's what we wanna work out. Wherever they sit is fine, that's where your hip is comfortable. So when Jess squats, do you squat with your feet straight ahead? No, they're, they're in a V-shape. Slightly turned out. So yeah. they're gonna look something like this because that's where she's comfy, all right? So once you put those two bits together, where does my hip go and then where do my feet point? We're gonna pop you back up and we're gonna go through the squat again. Okay, so what if we just threw all that out the window? We just spent a little bit of time working out where Jess is comfy. Let's have a look at what happens when she's not. So facing away from me, Jess, yeah, feet and knees are gonna go straight ahead. She's gonna come down into a squat there and then straight away you see her low back starts to round. She runs out of room earlier. Come back up. Jess, talk us through your squat. Run us through how you're gonna set up. Great, so what we learnt there on the ground, um, so feet positioning, we can start with, instead of that parallel uh, positioning, I'm at the 11 turned one on the clock, so feet turned out, heels a bit more narrow. I'm also gonna bring them um, closer in together because I want my knees to flare out, flare out wider than my hips. So hips are gonna come, or knees are gonna come out further than the hips and further than the feet coming down. And in that way I can keep that nice straight back Good and flat sit back. down into it without that butt wink at the bottom. Perfect, okay. So that's how we're gonna incorporate sort of the steps we showed you on the mat and where stuff should go um, into our squat. So let's say it's my first time in the gym, week one. How are you gonna teach me how to squat, Jess? I've, I've, I know where my hip goes. How do I do the next bit? I know where stuff should go. What do I do? Yeah, so I mean, I guess I'd um, first of all get you to do a squat in the way uh, that you naturally feel most comfortable. So not worrying about any kind of, um, you know, lines or guidelines that you've known before. No um, kind of parallel feet, just squat in whatever way gets you the closest cool. to the ground. So just kind of coming back, sitting yeah. down, standing so what, back up. So what's going to get you like sitting lowest in that squat at that bottom position? Um, if we're really still struggling, going to run you through what you just went through. Get cool. you on the ground, bring that knee to the chest, 
Does it need to be further apart? And then how do those feet fall? Cool. And then if you're really, really, really stuck, my easiest cue is imagine you're sitting on the toilet, right? So put, put a chair, put a, a dining room table chair, something behind you. Feet go either side of it, where in their comfortable position. Hands go out in front, sit down on the chair, stand back up. That's your body weight squat. Cool? Cool.